Hello, my name is Amy Muir and I'm the design studio leader for ASSIST 2. This studio explores the junction between utilitarian and civic architecture while testing these conditions through the lens of assisted death. Cemeteries inherently are governed by metrics and the utilitarian infrastructure that has been implemented in order to service, access and maintain the necropolis. Faulkner train station opened in 1886. In 1906, Faulkner Cemetery opened, absorbing into its site the train line and station, a train that provided for the transportation of coffins and mourners, a train station that serviced the city of the dead. As cemeteries have evolved over time, there is an acknowledgement that there is still a requirement to provide for a variety of forms of burial and remembrance. The predominance of the field versus garden, spaces of inclusion, spaces defined by religious boundaries, spaces defined by acknowledgement type. Each cemetery is accompanied by various additional built programs, such as a flower shop, crematorium, chapel. With the introduction of assisted death legislation in Victoria in 2019, Greater Melbourne Cemetery Trust are now in the process of understanding how this might be accommodated within their remit. What is the infrastructure that would define this program? The design studio explored the role of the cemetery through the lens of now and the growing requirements associated with death and remembrance. This was balanced with understanding the historical significance of the infrastructure that defines the mechanics of the necropolis and how this might be then be exploited in order to define a new appendage to the cemetery. Students referenced the following precedents. Woodland Cemetery Caretakers Pavilion by Aspland, La Tourette by Le Corbusier, Brion Cemetery by Carlo Scarpa. These precedents are understood within their original context and then tested within the context of Faulkner Memorial Park. The precedents are then used to inform the formal and architectural language of the interventions that have been designed. Paul Rudolph's sections are employed as a drawing precedent defining a universal representation style, allowing for the architecture to rise to the top. This is not about death, this is about infrastructure, an infrastructure that supports a civicness, a civic intervention, a civic responsibility. This semester, I utilised Carlo Scarpa's approach to hierarchy, shifting scales and ceiling in Brion Cemetery to inform my intervention, treating Faulkner Memorial Park as a traversable archive. My idea was to harness the assisted death facility as an extension of this, becoming a primary educational resource to establish a medical presence and add to the site civic identity as it moves into the future. The design realises the need for recording history and recognises archive as the vehicle to bridge the complex nature of assisted death into the site's rich history. Hi, my name is Hai and this semester I explore the topology of an assisted dying facility by using the idea of familiarity and awareness through memorials and civic programs that are valuable to the community in the cemetery context to push the legislation forward as a commonplace for the community. I chose to develop my idea using the architectural language of Brion Cemetery by Carlos Scarpa, where I observed the relationship between public and private space, landscape and architecture. Thank you. The response to this brief is a succinct set of spaces which further the evolution of voluntary assisted death in Victoria. Using the language and ideas of Carlo Scarpa's Brion Cemetery, the space has been opened up to the community, enhancing Faulkner's offerings to the public as the cemetery moves into perpetuity. Those who are put in the most unfortunate position must be extended a final empathetic gesture, a private space where they can end their lives peacefully and on their own terms. Incorporating this new typology into the public space and acknowledging its existence helps spread the word and start a conversation about voluntary assisted death. For my project, I designed an assisted death facility which took the influence from Carlos Scarpa's Brio, looking at the idea of pathways and spaces. 
My project looked into the idea of privacy between public and private spaces and how the two are interconnected with each other. As well as this, I looked at the idea of education and learning and the best possible method and, and way that this could be provided in this context. Hi, I'm Kenny. The aim of this project is to consider how the assisted death facility is going to interact with the local community. The outcome that I achieved in this project signifies the progression of Australian history. The building offers the complete service of assisted death, functional and mental needs, and a chance for people to learn more about assisted death. The pathway brings the public side and the patient side closer, leading to a better understanding from the visitors without disturbing the assisted death patient. Hello, my name is William Bly and my project, the Assistive Studio, introduces the Voluntary Assisted Death Facility as a compassionate service that can carry forth the promise of perpetual care after the cemetery becomes full. It asserts the social purpose of the Faulkner Memorial Park by leaning into civic typologies associated with the rail terminal and the overpass. Hi, my name is Karnan, I'm a level 4 student. Since its inception, Faulkner Cemetery has existed between conditions of democratised landscape and private memorial. The train line is the heart of the cemetery, the infrastructure that runs through it. Adopting a utilitarian framework, the proposed voluntary assisted death facility prioritises the civic responsibility of the site. The new typology of assisted death is a conglomeration of public amenities, recognising the role of the site as a profoundly private yet necessarily public one. Terrophobic aspects of Le Corbusier's La Tourette Monastery are employed in the new context of Faulkner Cemetery, where the precedent's interiority is inverted for a project of exteriority and connection to the democratised landscape. The longitudinal development of the upfield train line now has an assisted death facility annexed to it. Acting as a catalyst to the understanding to the history of this site element and the delicacy of assisted death, the noise of the passing train is reverberated around the site. Le Corbusier's design language of La Tourette has been implemented, providing a series of experiences from enclosure to exposure and introspective conditions to spaces of expansive view. The project acknowledges the importance of the train line and heralds its new role as a backdrop to assisted death at Faulkner Memorial Park. Hi, my name is Chantel. During this semester, I examine the relationship between the confronting and ever-developing nature of an assisted death facility and its integration into a prosaic suburban environment. Through the architectural language of Le Corbusier's Le Tourette, the brand new typology of this facility aims to fulfil its civic duties to not only those choosing to end their lives, but also to the everyday people dealing with the unfamiliarity of voluntary assisted death, finding the balance between the need for both discreet and empathetic gestures.